Dogs might be man's best friend, but they're not the mailman's. This is the U.S. Postal Service's Dog Bite Awareness Week, and the agency has a warning for people with pets. Our Kennedy Walker explains, all new at 5 o'clock. More than 5,800 carriers were attacked by dogs in the past year nationwide. In DFW, USPS says that 85 dog bites have already occurred, with Texas ranking number two in the nation for most dog bites to mail carriers. We have to always have a constant awareness of our surroundings. For some mail carriers, the job can be risky. It's something Chan Branson knows all too well. A lot of people have dogs as their loving companion or their family security, but us, we have to see all animals as an actual threat. She's worked for the United States Postal Office for nearly a decade. Earlier this year, she was on her route in Fort Worth when a homeowner's two German Shepherds who weren't restrained attacked her. First thing I thought about was just my family, you know, because it could the situation couldn't have turned a lot worse. She managed to fight them off, but is now left with this scar and fears it happening again. The Postal Service trains mail carriers how to deal with potential attacks, like using dog repellent and a whistle. But the best thing you can do is keep your dog properly restrained behind a fence or gate, or keep them inside when the mail is delivered. And dog attacks can be very expensive for the owner. The owner could be held responsible for loss of hours, medical expenses, and so much more. In Fort Worth, Kennedy Walker, CBS 11 News.